Hey everybody, welcome back to BAM Collectibles. Today is gonna to be the beginning of a brand new series that I'm gonna be bringing to everyone that's gonna focus on how to bring your collection to the next level in the way that you display it. When I first started out collecting, I was using IKEA DTOF display cases. And right out of the box, those are very, very nice because all four corners are glass and it looks extremely slick. So what I did to really further enhance them was to add backgrounds and floor grounds. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what I do or how I do that. So I figured I would make a video tutorial to share with my method of currently doing that. If you have not done so already, please be sure to smash that subscribe button so that you could tag along for all the tutorials that I'll be bringing in the coming weeks. Without further ado, let's jump on in. Well, I'm going to be using a background that I have prepared for a Zabuza statue uh, that's going to be coming in very soon. And this is the bridge scene from Naruto. Now, this left side piece is the background, and it is 15 inches high by 15 inches wide. And the right side piece is going to be 15 inches high as well. And the width is about 11 and 3 quarters. And why that one is the way it is, is I actually order it 15 by 12 and I will kind of shape it and cut it down to size with an X-Acto knife. Because at the bottom of a DTOF, it can actually have the 15 by 12. But the shelves above it, it actually sits better if it's about 11 and 3 quarters. So if you flip these pictures over, you'll see the right side floor piece has nothing on the back. And the left side background has two strips of magnetic tape on there. Now what I use, I purchased from Home Depot and it's just magnetic tape with an adhesive backing right there. And it's a roll of it, very cheap. And what I do is cut it to size and I also further reinforce it with some super glue uh, on top of the adhesive and stick it on there so everything's nice and tight. So how this ends up working is the DTOF has a metal wire frame that the shelves are held on by. And what I do is I just go ahead and go to the back of this and I'm going to go ahead and place this floor brown, just nicely neat in there. So that's good to go. And if you go back here on my left and right, you can see in this picture, there is a metal frame. And what I do is I take the one that I've added my magnets to. And we make sure that those stick to the back of this frame over here. position things correctly, and everything snaps in together. I will be the first to tell you that I am in no way a graphics design artist. All the images that I use and get are from uh, Google, and I try to get the highest quality as possible, and I will crop them down as I need to to fit the proper dimensions. This one right here is one that I use for a Zelda themed display case. This one was used for a Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Play Arts Kai figure case. This one was used for a Sword Art Online display case. And this is one that I will be using for a soon-to-come Gara statue. Now where I print these off at is uprinting.com. If you go there and select the banners and signs, it'll open up a bunch of different options. Select the vinyl banners, and that will lead you to a screen where you have all the different uh, specifications for creating this. If you select the size and drop down to the custom size, and then change the unit from feet to inches, and I'm going to go here with uh, 15 inches by 15 inches because that's what I use for the standard background. And then it'll show you all these different various options here. Don't change anything after this point. And you'll see the price point for these is only $7.48. One small thing to note is that when you first receive your order from you printing, they will typically come in a package where they're all kind of scrunched up and bundled up like this. And what I do, you know, when you naturally take them out, they're going to have kind of like a, a curve and a bend to them. They're not going to be nice and flat. And what I'll do is I'll actually kind of lay them out on a flat surface floor. And I will put something very heavy over top of them, like a box. And 
it'll flatten them out. If you leave it there for a few hours, just lay it on the floor and uh, put something right on top. It just flattens them out perfectly. They remain and they keep that shape because they really don't want to go into that bended shape that they come in in the tube that they send them in. And so a very easy fix for that is just putting something heavy on top, putting some weight and kind of forcing them into a flat dimension. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate the support. And as I mentioned in the beginning, please do hit that subscribe button if you want to go ahead and see the coming tutorials that I'll be showcasing that are going to focus on how to bring your collection to the next level in the way that you display it. As always, do what you love and love what you do.